Well, there's not much happening here because this is inside the evacuation zone. This town, on a Friday night, a busy tourist town, is completely dead. All the shops are shut, all the restaurants are shut, uh, the supermarket is now shut. So everyone has left this town because they've been told to get out while they can. Uh, and the similar scenes are being repeated across Australia, especially Victoria and New South Wales. 100,000 people have evacuated. It's the biggest evacuation, peacetime evacuation, in Australia's history. It shows you how seriously uh, authorities are taking uh, what is to come and that's what everyone's worried about saturday tomorrow um weather is going to change right now it's it's getting a bit cooler it's not very windy at all tomorrow it's going to go up into at least 36 degrees celsius is one prediction and it's going to be very very windy as well those are perfect conditions for fire to spread and that's what people are worried about the fires are still raging they're not far that way in the bush uh, and they're all around this sort of area in that border area especially between victoria and new south wales there are fires burning either side of the border big fires and the the worry is those two fires uh, in particular could combine to create a new huge fire. But the other thing is we can't really predict exactly what's going to happen. You know which way the wind might go. The wind could change, of course. But then there's ember attacks. So this is when a fire is burning uh, and it sends embers, you know, hundreds of meters. And when we're talking about embers, these aren't sort of small bits of ash floating about. They're big chunks of wood. And if one of those can travel that far, it starts uh, that far, sorry, it starts a new fire. And that is unpredictable. That is chaotic. And that's why they've decided that residents in this town should go. So that's the situation here. People are bedding in. They're getting ready for what's to come. They're determined perhaps to defend their properties if it makes it far. This down, they've got the sea right there uh, in the worst case scenario. Um, no one knows quite how bad tomorrow is going to be. We've been told it could be as bad or even worse as the horrific scenes we saw earlier this week. Right now, they're getting ready um, for that Saturday to come for those very, very dangerous conditions.